What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general collective reading for all signs. Path to aside to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. Um, thanks for all the uh, donations. Thanks for all the love and support to my channel. Thanks for all the new subscribers. And thanks for all the um, shares on social media and word of mouth. It helps my channel get around in a positive way. I appreciate you guys. Okay. So the channel message I received was um, a Libra. And it can be masculine or feminine. Libra, I didn't hear if it was masculine or feminine. A Libra, I heard that was once very, very... A uh, Libra and a Virgo. I heard a Virgo too. A Libra and a Virgo that was once very, 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 very popular on the streets. And a Pisces, and a Pisces. I heard a Pisces just now. A Libra, a Virgo, and a Pisces. So, masculine or feminine Libra, masculine or feminine Virgo, masculine or feminine Pisces. They could have Libra, Virgo, or Pisces in their sun, moon, rising. Venus, North, no moon, haven, or Jupiter charts. All older. They're all older. Okay, they're all older. So, I'm feeling 35, 36 or above. I'm feeling. Maybe for some, they might be 33, 34. What have you, what have you. But I'm feeling most of them 35, 36 or above. They have Libra, Pisces, or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or North, Moon, Haven, Jupiter charts. I heard they were all very, 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 very popular on the streets. <clears throat> um, very popular on the streets. So street side behavior, street side, I'm, I'm assuming criminal activity. I didn't hear criminal activity, but if you're on the streets, there's a reason you're dealing on the streets or being on the streets. Um, be, I mean, I'm not downing people of the streets. I just want to disclaimer that. I feel everyone can better their lives. And you can. You can get off the streets and better your life. Anybody can do it. It takes a lot of work. And it all depends on who you run into and your opportunities. And what have you, what have you. But you can get off the streets if you really, really don't want to be there. And that's just the truth. Um, there are ways of doing that. There's programs out there to help. There's ways of doing it. But these people were popular on the streets um, in some shape, form, or fashion. Libra, Virgo, Pisces, older. But I heard uh, they, they, are, they are played out. Um, I heard they are played out. And um, their popularity will, do, will continue to decline. So they were once super popular on the streets. I'm assuming ran the streets, ran some kind of thug life or street life or whatever, whatever. I don't know. I'm not a per I've never ran the streets. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. But um, they were once very popular. I feel run the streets, run whatever, 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 whatever. Um, criminals, criminals, criminals. Okay, so. It's not like, okay, so like there's some U YouTubers, and I've watched some YouTubers that have like 2 million, 5 million subscribers. They take, they, they're, they, one of the YouTubers, they've had their platform for like 12 years, but they started when they were in their 20s, and they basically took their platform and made positivity out of it. They took it and basically filmed their life, experiences, and adventures, and traveling kind of what I'm going to do too with mine when I can get it there but they claim that was of the streets but that's of the streets in a positive way that's not criminal behavior these people are criminal behavior the the youtubers that have been around two million five million subscribers what have you what have you claim they were of the streets they didn't harm people commit crimes they took the people the streets and they basically Play, uh, put them into their videos and acclimated them in a positive way and took their community and the people of the streets and transmuted in a positive way. Those people, I think, are great. That's wonderful. These people are criminals. So I think they have used the people of the streets or used situations in their community to make them come up and the people go down, the people streets go down. That's what I feel. It's not like the YouTubers I'm talking about with two mil, five mil, um, seven mil subscribers. They have, they did it in a different way. And that's how I want to do it when I'm able to get there. Because um, I believe anybody can 
can get up. Anybody can get up, but you've got to have desire, drive, will, motivation to get yourself there. These people, I feel, used the people, the streets in their community, not help them up. They beat them down, basically. They gave stolen money of yours to these people. They go, oh man, they gave stolen money of yours to these people. Um, so these people gave stolen money of yours to the people, the streets in their community? Stolen money? Why didn't they go out and make a YouTube channel and have 12 mil subscribes and have, I don't know, 100K come in in a month and give it to them besides give your stolen money to them? What the hell? But I heard they're played out now. Somebody's getting a huge wake-up call. Somebody's getting a huge wake-up I'm serious. Because that's crime. That's a crime. But when you go out and you become popular, like on a YouTube platform with 2 mil, 5 mil, 10 mil, 12 mil subscribes, you're put, racking in 100K a month. That's not criminal money. That's going out doing what you love, and then you can give the money like these people have, donating back into the community in a positive way, which I love that. I love that. Not giving your stolen money to the people of their community. That is screwed up in a huge way. And that's just the truth. Um, and one day I'll be there. I'll be there on another platform. I'll be there. But I'm not there right now. But I will. But my point is, these people, but they're, they're played out now. These people are played out now. And um, the tables have turned. The tables have turned. The tables have turned. So these people are played out now and the tables are turned. So they were once super popular on the streets, I guess, because they were giving away your stolen money to these people. Maybe some of these people knew it was your stolen money. Maybe some they didn't. Um, but I heard it's your stolen money, sir, ma'am. They were giving it to. But they're played out now, I guess, because these people aren't getting your stolen money anymore. Well, like I said, you shouldn't do it in the way of criminal means of giving away stolen money. Do it in the way these people did it. Build up your platforms, 2 mil, 5 mil, 10 mil, 12 mil, and use the money you get from the back end, Google AdSense, however much you would get with that many subscribers, I'm sure it's quite a bit. Uh, I'm thinking at least 100K a month, if not more. Um, and put it into your community, not give away somebody's stolen money. And that's just the truth. But I heard they're played out now. These people have very backwards way of thinking. Very backwards. These people have the very backwards way of thinking. Very backwards. I, I would say so. I heard these people have very backwards way of thinking. Very backwards. I would say they do. Absolutely. Because like I said, I, I, I tell y'all the right way to do it. Even if you don't have that many subscribers. But, I mean, I've watched YouTubers on here that do. 2 mil, 5 mil, 10 mil, 12 mil. And some of these people went on here 10, 12 years. I mean, they didn't start off with 2, 5, 7, 10, 12 mil. But they built it up. But they did it by um, getting out there and posting videos in their community and their world and traveling and building up their platform, which is what I'm going to do. And that's just the truth. And y'all know I've been wanting to do that since 2020. And that's the truth. Spirit messages you have collected. These people are about to experience huge negative tower moments. They already have. These people are about to experience huge negative tower moments. They already have. So these criminals are about to experience huge negative tower moments. They already have. I don't know why they just didn't do it like these people did. And that's just the truth. Do it the right way. Older woman. Cain, dark woman. Okay, I heard put him back. At September and October, I heard put him back. <clears throat> So we have Cain, pay attention to your health. Older woman, dealing with a relationship with an older woman. Dark woman. <coughs> Excuse me. 
dark woman dealing their relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. An older Scorpio is about to start getting very, very, very ill. Older Scorpio feminine. And an older Libra feminine. And an older Aquarius feminine. A lot of femme ill people. An older Scorpio, Libra, and Aquarius femme is about to start getting very ill. And an older Leo feminine. And an older Leo femme. So we have an older Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, and Leo Femme about to start getting very, very, very ill. Uh, they can have uh, Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, or Leo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Wolf, Femme, and Hamid, Jupiter, Charts, all older energies. Um, they're all Femmes. And we have double Femme energy in here. And this is the illness with the cane. Um, I think they're connected to these criminals in some shape, form, or fashion. And a Pisces. And a Pisces. Oh, we've got a lot. A Leo, a Libra, uh, Aquarius, uh, Scorpio, and a Pisces. They're all older. They could have any of these in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Wolf, Moon, and Hamid, Jupiter charts. But that double femme energy in here. And I feel some of these femme energies, there's at least five. There could be more. But I think they're connected to these criminals in some shape, form, or fashion. Um... They could have dark complexion or dark hair is what I'm feeling. Anna Virgo. Anna Virgo. Anna Virgo. Femme. Anna Virgo Femme. Virgo Femme. Um, they could have any of these in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Hamid, Jupiter, Charts. They are heavily connected to these people. Heavily. They are heavily connected to these people. Heavily. They are heavily connected to these people. Heavily. Some they are Caucasian. Some, they are African-American. Some, they are Japanese. Japanese. Some, they are Caucasian. Some, they are, uh, uh, some Caucasian, some African-American, and some Japanese. And some Latina, and some Latina. So, some Caucasian, some African-American, some uh, Japanese, and some Latina in this group. They're all older fans. Whether they're Caucasian, African American, um, or um, Japanese or Latina, they could have any of these in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Wolf, Moon, Hamid, Jupiter charts. I heard Pisces and Virgo energy in here too, older femmes, um, and I heard they're very heavily connected to these played out criminals, basically. Um, so I think it might be dark arts backfiring. I didn't hear it was, but intuitively I feel it might be dark arts backfiring. That's exactly what I feel. Um, that's what intuitively what I feel. But you plug it in how it resonates. I mean, it's all over the cards and the messages in here. We have to pay attention to your health, the sickness of these femmes. They're all older. Older woman dealing with relationship with older woman, dark woman. Uh, de uh, dealings of relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. So I feel some of these femmes have dark hair or dark complexion, like melanated, possibly. Whether they're Caucasian, African American. Latina or Japanese. Um, and um, some they're biracial and some they're biracial. And some they're biracial, so I feel they have maybe two or two plus of these um, mixed. Or the, one of these and another ethnicity or race mixed. Some biracial energy in here too. Um, oh my God. Maybe some of these people are people of the streets, possibly. Or family members. But how that resonates, they're very heavily connected to these people that were once very, like, ran the streets um, in a criminal way. Not like a YouTube 2, 5, 10, 12 mil subscriber count way. Um, giving back to the community and the people of the streets way. Um, 
a negative criminal sense way. One of these people is a teacher and they're about to get a significant complaint filed on them. Inappropriate sexual relationship with a student. They work in a school. Oh my God. One of these older energies works in a school. Um, they are a teacher. They're a teacher. They're a teacher. They work in a school and that's double confirmation for teacher. They work in a school and they're about to get... Um, a very significant complaint filed on them. I heard inappropriate sexual relationship with minor. They have gotten away with this in the past. They have definitely gotten away with it in the past, but they will not get away with it this time. Okay, so one of these people is a teacher. Whoever they are, they're older, 35, 36 or above. They've gotten away with some kind of inappropriate sexual relationship with a minor or minors. I'm assuming they're student or students in the past, but it sounds like upcoming in the universe when this significant complaint, and I'm assuming whoever's about to file the complaint, whether it's you or somebody else, I feel maybe one of my collective, you're about to file the complaint. Or you're about to know somebody about to file the complaint. How that resonates and applies. But somebody's about to file a complaint on this sick pedo uh, teacher, basically, in this group. And uh, what I heard, they've gotten away with some kind of inappropriate sexual situation with a minor or minor's of their students in the past, but they're not going to this time. So I feel one of you guys, you're going to file the complaint. And I think you're going to file the official complaint, like from the city school system website or a county system, school system website, not like calling and making a complaint to the school. Trust me, that's ineffective. I did that here in my city school system. They did nothing about it. The way to do it is file an official complaint with the state. That's the way to do it. There are official complaint forms on the websites of county school systems and city school systems for anybody doesn't know. That is the way you need to do it. I did not do it that way when I moved out here in the city, and I should have. So if it, if you were the one about to file this complaint, only you know if you're about to, not anybody else. But if you are about to, no, not calling up to the school. You need to file the complaint on the website, official reporting. That's the way to make it roll. Okay, I thought directly talking to these people, like change maker, personable energy would work. No, no, it made it worse. And that's just the truth. You need to hit them where it hurts their job. And, um, and this is serious. This is sexual with a minor. And I heard they've gotten away with it in the past. It's one of their students in the past. And it's a femme energy. And you can be a femme pedophile or masculine pedophile. In this situation, it's a femme pedophile. But whoever is about to file this complaint, whether it's you or somebody else, it's about to hit them where they hurt. And good. It should. Kudos if you're the one about to do this. I feel it could be your student. They have sexually um, assaulted or molested or inappropriately touched or spoke inappropriately to or something. Um, kudos to you for taking power. It could be your grandchild, your child, whoever. Um, I care, a kid you care about. I'm not sure. Only you know your story to anybody else. But I heard they've gotten away with this in the past. And nobody should get away with this in the uh, period. So kudos to you for using your personal power. I heard official complaint. And I told you guys how to do it if you weren't aware how to do it. Okay. Kudos. It is about to ruin this teacher's career. And it should. Is about to ruin this teacher's career, and it should. So, I think she has dark hair, dark complexion, and she's definitely older, 35, 36 or above. And she's obviously, she's already in bad mental health. If she's talking inappropriately or touching inappropriately or like, looking inappropriately at her own students, she's in bad health, mental health here. And that's just the truth.
And a neighbor is about to start noticing very strange things going on with an older Sagittarius feminine in her, at her house. Very strange things. They will probably call the police on her soon. It's going to create shocking series of chain events for this Sagittarius, and it will reveal, when the police get there, it will reveal way more than the neighbors thought. There definitely are some very strange things going on there. Very strange. Oh, my God. These neighbors have been watching her very heavily for a long time. They're about to take some action. She is Caucasian. The teacher is melanated. The, okay, so the teacher is melanated. The one that's about to get caught, the femme teacher that's about to get caught, she's melanated. She's melanated. She's a pedo. She's a pedo. She's melanated. So um, I feel she could be the African-American or maybe the Japanese, possibly, or the biracial. Um, but the one, the Sag Femme home situation where the neighbors have been watching her like hawks basically for a long time, um, she's Caucasian. She's Caucasian, so she, um, she's Caucasian, white, and she's older, and she's older Sag. She could have dark hair or not, but um, she definitely is Caucasian. She's white, and she's older, 35, 36 or above. And I feel for some of these Femmes, they're much older than 35, 36, and I'm just being serious. But you plug in how it resonates. But her neighbors have been watching her like hawk, like a hawk. So they have really, really been watching her, um, really been watching her heavy for some reason. Um, now, why they've been watching her, I didn't hear specifically, but they have been watching her like a damn hawk. But I heard soon some strange things are about to start happening at her house. Very strange things. And I heard the neighbors, they've already been watching her, like neighborhood watch, community watch energy. But they're about to start watching her even more. And I heard basically when they watch her, um, soon, they're about to call the police on her because something very, very, very strange is about, strange is about to occur. And I heard when this occurs, um, they will call the police. And I heard once the police get there, the police are about to uncover the strange crap. And I heard, uh, it's about to be shocking. It's about to be shocking. It's about to be shocking. Whatever this is, it's about to be shocking. So it's, they've been watching her like a hawk, like community watch energy for a reason. For definite reasons, for definite reasons. Um, but soon they're about to take the leap and call the police. And once the police get out there, whether they're city police or county mounties or what have you, what have you, I heard that it's going to be shocking whatever the hell the police uncover. And um, yeah, wow. There probably will be an arrest. There probably will be an arrest. They, this person will not get officers that they knew in the past. There probably will be an arrest. This side, older side fan will probably not get officers they knew in the past. So it sounds like they were in with the police in the past in some shape, form, or fashion, but they're not anymore, or they're not in with the police that they're about to get on the police call. Um, but um, however that resonates, um, I heard there will probably be an arrest of this older side fan. She's Caucasian. There's something weird going on in her house. Um, she's white. And she could have gray hair, dark hair, whatever kind of hair. I didn't hear what color hair, but she definitely is a side femme. She's white, definitely 35, 36 or above. Weird happenings at her house, but her damn neighbor or neighbors have her under community watch. And that, I mean, they've been watching her like hawks. Um, hawks. She will be mortified. She's a pedophile too. Oh my God, I heard she will be mortified. She's a pedophile too. There's heavy pedophile energy in here. She's a pedophile too. Um, and she will be mortified. But it sounds like the, the neighbors are about to take some action on her. She's in bad mental health too. She's a pedophile. And that's just the truth. That's sick. And an older Pisces feminine is about to get a complaint on her through the state. 
from a co-worker. Official report. An older Pisces feminine is about to get an official complaint on her through the state. Co-worker. Um, so you, uh, these people work for the state, if that resonates for you. Um, she's Caucasian. She's Caucasian. She's Caucasian. She's an older Pisces femme. She works for the state. Now, that could be local, um, state, like state, federal, or like local level. But um, she's an older Pisces femme, and she works for the state. Um, she is Caucasian. She's white. So she could have dark hair, gray hair, or any other color hair, but she's definitely white, and she's older, and she's got a Pisces and her sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and have your Jupiter charts. I heard one of her co-workers is about to put an official complaint in it on her. And it sounds like they both work for the state. Um, however, that resonates and applies. A lot of negative type, but these people are connected to people of the street, like criminal activity people. All these older films that work out in 3D workspaces, like supposed reputable careers, like teachers and working for the state and um, what have you, what have you. They're really connected to criminals. Is that really saying something about yourself? No, it's not. And that's just the truth. Um, but it's, it sounds like negative karma because they were connected to these people that were so popular that gave away your stolen money, sorry, ma'am, in the past. Maybe to these people, maybe to other people, but it's like it's backfiring. It's like it's energetically backfiring on these people. Now, the Pisces fam, I don't know if there's mental health conditions there. I don't know. But I heard there's about to be official complaint on her. And it's about to be detrimental to her. A lot of truth. And it's about to be detrimental to her. A lot of truth. It's about The official complaint coming in. To, uh, she works for the state and the co-worker works for the state. But the co-worker is about to take their personal power and make an official complaint on her. Pisces fam. Older Pisces fam. Um, but I heard there's going to be a lot of truth in there. In the official complaint. And it's going to go fast, and it's going to go fast, and it's going to go fast. Like I said, I don't know if she works for the state, state, federal, or like local level. Um, uh, well, I'm sorry, I take that back. If you work for the state, you don't work federal. You don't work federal, so I apologize. She either works for the state, state, or local state, like um, something like that, like um, police or something. I didn't hear she did, but that's like an example of a local government for the state is like police. Um, I didn't hear she did. I don't feel she does, but she might. So not federal, state, state, or like a local level, okay? How that resonates and applies. But I feel she might be ill or she might get ill. She might feel ill when she gets this um, re uh, official report that's about to come in on her ass like a ton of bricks. But my point is she's in this group over here of these crazies that connected to these people. Their reputation has already declined on the street, like street life, thug life, and it will continue to decline. But why the hell are these people connected to these people to begin with? Just saying, just saying. You've got to watch your connections and who you're, who you're around and who you associate with. And that's just the truth. Because that's the truth. That's why I've cut off all my toxic family, period, point blank. And that's the truth. And a random drug screening at a workplace is about to become very significant for older Sagittarius feminine. And a random drug screening is about to, and an older Libra feminine. A random drug screening is about to become very significant uh, for an older Sag fem and a Libra fem. Not what they take for medication. Not what they take for medication. Uh, okay. Um, so some kind of significant random drug screening is about to become significant for older Sag fam and a Libra fam. I heard it, it's going to become significant because it's whatever is about to pop positive on their drug screening. Sounds like it's not what they take for prescription medicine. Sounds like both of them take prescription medicine. 
in some shape, form, or fashion, but whatever they're about to po positive for is not going to be what they're take supposed to be prescribed to take, if that makes sense. Um, so they're taking something illicitly um, that they're not prescribed to take by a medical uh, professional that's about to pop positive on a drug screening. They can have SAG or Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, 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 I feel the Sag or Libra possibly could have gray hair, dark hair, or be melanated, possibly. I didn't hear specifics on them. You plug it in how it resonates. But they both take prescription medicine, I'll tell you that. But whatever they're about to pop positive for on the drug screen is not what is um, they're prescribed to take. And a younger Taurus masculine is about to find out he's about to be a daddy. He's melanated. He is connected to the, some of these people. It is about to shock the hell out of him. And a younger Taurus masculine. So um, he's melanated. So he could be the African American, Japanese, or biracial possibly. Because I was pulling that in there. That energy in there. But he's a younger Taurus masculine, and he's melanated, so he has dark skin or darker complected skin. I'm feeling the Japanese, um, African-American, or biracial energy. Um, I feel for some of you might know, know this Taurus masculine. I heard he's about to be a daddy. He's about to be shocked as hell. But he's younger. He's 35, 34 below. He could have Taurus in any aspects of his charts. Um, whoever this Taurus is. There is about to be some huge changes with him. Quickly. There's about to be some huge changes with him quickly. So, well, good. Uh, hopefully positive changes. I mean, I don't know. But it sounds like he's connected to the people of the streets or was connected to the people of the streets or these people, these older femme energies. Uh, maybe some of these older femme energies are his family members, possibly, or just connections or the people of the streets, um, how that resonates and applies. But once he finds out he's about to be a dad, he's about to make some changes, hopefully positive changes and not negative changes. And it's about to prompt him to reveal information he never thought he would on a family in the past. He's about to have a completely new perspective change. Okay. So this, I'm pulling him in very strong. So this Taurus masculine, once he finds out he's a dad, basically, he's about to um, reveal information he never thought he would on a family of the past. A whole new perspective change. But he's about to find out soon he's about to be a dad. I'm assuming he does not have um, any kids right now. It's his first child. It's his first child. It's his first child. Um, so I think it's going to make him happy. It doesn't sound like he's going to be upset about it. But it's going to, I mean, I, I say that because it's going to prompt him to reveal information on a family he never thought he would in the past. So I think it's going to motivate him to make positive changes in his life, like altruistic energy and help a family of the past that it sounds like he didn't. He, he ended up hurting the family hurting them. He was supposed to help them. He's about to help make it right. He ended up hurting the family. He was supposed to help them, but he's about to make it right. So, well, good for him, Taurus Masculine. If you watch Taurus Masculine, maybe you do. I'm pulling you in, so I feel you might watch, or maybe somebody connected you uh, watches Taurus Masculine. Heard you're melanated, so you will come up as this energy, dark man, dealing with a relationship, um, with a man with dark complexion or hair, that would be your energy, sir. Um, I heard you help, you hurt them in the past. You were supposed to help them, um, but you're about to make it right. You're younger, 35, 34 below, and you could have, um, I feel, African American, Japanese, or biracial energy, however that resonates and applies, or any other, whatever, whatever. I heard you're melanated, okay? I can't find it, but anyways, okay. Well, good for you, sir. Good for you. You're about to find out your daddy, okay? Daddy, daddy, daddy. Let's see if I pick up anything else.
In an electrocution of an older Pisces masculine is about to become very significant in some of these uh, people's lives. And an electrocution of an older Pisces masculine is about to become very significant in some of these people's lives. So an electrocution of an older Pisces masculine, um, he's Caucasian. He's Caucasian. He's Caucasian and he's a Pisces masculine and it sounds like he's about to get electrocuted. I wonder if he's an electrician or he's going to be working on electrical or around electrical or maybe he's going to be messing with electrical when it's raining or storming or lightning or something. I don't know. But somehow an electrocution of an older Pisces masculine is about to become very significant in some of these people's lives. So some of these older fems' lives um, and maybe these people of the streets that aren't popular anymore. Um, like, I feel street crimes here. Um, I mean, so much so they took your money, sir, ma'am, and basically gave it away. How screwed up is that? And that's just the truth, man. Go make your own damn money. Um, but it's an older Pisces masculine. He could be 35, 36 or above. He's, he's white. He's Caucasian. And he's, uh, he's about to become uh, electrocuted. So electrocuted, for anybody who doesn't know, is basically, it's either shocked or shocked so badly that it stops your heart. Um, it's about to be bad. It's about to be bad. So, uh, yeah, I think it's more than just a little shock. Um, it's, it's a big shock. Um, I wonder if it's going to put him in the hospital. I didn't hear it was going to, but I wonder if it's going to, I'm just saying. Well, it's going to see if I pull up the Pisces masculine energy. Let's see. There's over a hundred of these things. Nope. Okay. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay. And one of these older feminine energies in this group, they're about to have a heart attack soon. One of the fem energies in this group, they're about to have a heart attack soon. Scorpionic energy. Scorpionic energy. One of the fem energies, older fem energies in this group. Okay, thus medical, medical health. They're about to have a heart attack soon. Uh, MI. I don't know if it's a Widowmaker or a TIA. Uh, Medical health pain in this aspect, medical health. Um, it's an older Scorpio femme. She could, um, I feel she could have gray hair or dark hair or dark complexion. Maybe she's melanated. I didn't hear specifics. But I feel she could have dark hair or darker hair or dark skin or gray hair. But she's an older Scorpio femme. She's about to have a heart attack soon. A really bad one. A really bad one. She's about to have a really bad heart attack. No heart issues. History. No history of heart issues. Okay, she's the older Scorpio femme. She has no history of heart issues or heart conditions or what have you, what have you. She's about to have a very bad heart attack. So very bad myocardial infarction. Um, okay, I just heard close it. I just heard close it. Okay, I'm getting out of this. Let me, uh, let me pull one. I heard, I heard close it. Okay, I'm going to pull one more and then I'm going to close it. These are good cards, or some of them are. Experiments in this year. Congratulations to the Taurus Masculine. About to be a dad. Heard it's going to shock you, but it sounds like you're going to be happy. Manifesting dreams. Number 46 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 46. Manifesting dreams. The one that was stolen from in a huge way. Do not worry what these people did to you. It's about to come back to you in huge positive ways.
You're about to see health conditions of some of these people manifest in your community. Some you're about to hear about them. Some they are members of your family. Some you're about to see them on social media. Okay, so for me and my story that was stole from, um, I heard basically you were stole from. And it sounds like these people, the streets, that basically gave you all your money to pit community members or hard knock or thug people or whatever, 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 but not the person it was intended for, which is you, sir, ma'am. Um, I heard, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it because you're basically about to go up in the financial arena. You're about to go up in the financial arena so you'll be able to manifest your dreams. I think they stole your money so you wouldn't be able to manifest. They tried really hard to block your manifestation, but they cannot. They can slow it down, but they cannot block it. Okay, I heard they tried really hard. Yeah, they stole your money to try to block your manifestation, basically. To try to stop things, good things coming in for you. But they basically gave it away to a bunch of thugs. Thugs and um, drug users, alcoholics, sex addicts. Drug users, they gave it away to drug users, alcoholics, and sex addicts. Oh, that's good look, not. So these crazies, wackadoos, gave it away to drug dealers. Uh, not drug dealers, drug users, alcoholics, and sex addicts. And you're none of those things. And you're none of those things. And you're none of those things. But yet, but they were so spiteful and malicious, they wanted to stop your dreams from manifesting, for you to grow. But you're not a drug uh, drug user, an alcoholic, or a sex, a sex addict. But they gave your money to drug users, alcoholics, and sex addicts. What? But if I basically don't worry about it, because you're about to go up in a huge way. Um, and you're about to see, I think the people that took some of your stolen money, the drug users, alcoholics, or sex addicts, one of them's a teacher, a pedo teacher, and I'm just being for real. Um, you're about to hear about their health declining. You're either about to see it on social media, see it manifest out in your community, or um, some. I heard some, for some it's your family members. And for some, you're, I guess you're about to hear about with your family members or see it. Maybe you transport them to the hospital, how that resonates and applies. But just don't worry about it. You can't control what these people did. Now, how they got your stolen money, I have no damn idea. I don't know, man. That's beyond me. It's criminal. However they did it, it was criminal. But just know you're about to go up. But it's really sad that they chose to give the money away to sex addicts, alcoholics, and drug users. <clears throat> and I heard you're none of that. That's it. That's mental health. Just saying the same. All right. Love you guys. Everybody have a good day. Namaste.